in a moment, is one of the first midterm candidates to release an ad all about abortion after the Supreme Court leak, a Democrat in a crowded Wisconsin Democratic primary field to take on incumbent Republican Senator Ron Johnson. Here's a bit of that TV ad. I'm Sarah Godlewski. I'm at the Supreme Court where it looks like Ron Johnson is going to get exactly what he wants, overturning Roe v. Wade, reinstating Wisconsin's cruel abortion ban, and putting doctors in jail. As your senator, I will never sit by and allow our rights to be stripped away. Join me. Let's fight back and defeat Ron Johnson. And with us now is Wisconsin State Treasurer Sarah Godlewski. She's running, as she says, for the Democratic nomination to unseat incumbent Republican Senator Ron Johnson in the November midterms. The other leading Democrats in that contest are Lieutenant Governor Mandela Barnes, Bucks Executive Alex Lazary, and Tom Nelson, County Executive in Outagami County near Greenbrae. So, Sarah, it's a crowded field. So you are a prime example, though, of how this abortion issue is becoming center stage in these critical election races already. It's only been days since the ruling, the draft, I shouldn't say the ruling, the draft opinion, the draft majority opinion, which certainly indicated how the ruling may come down at the end of June, um, especially Wisconsin. It's already extremely polarized. Talk to me about that and the change that you're seeing now in the calculation of why you're running this ad. Well, I will tell you, Andrea, in Wisconsin, this is a real issue because we have a complete abortion ban on the books. There's no exception, not for rape or incest. And so I have been seeing from this ad a lot of great energy. People have been calling me and saying, Sarah, I know you don't think this issue is an afterthought. I've been frustrated with my own party because they've had 50 years to codify and they haven't gotten it done. And I know you'll prioritize it to look like Ron Johnson has called Roe a tragedy for this country. And we don't need politicians making health care decisions for women. And it got violent over the weekend, of course. The Molotov cocktail was thrown. Talk to me about that, because that's certainly something we haven't seen before in Wisconsin. Well, let me be clear, Andrea. Violence is unacceptable and is not the answer. What's the answer? Well, the answer is for people to get involved in this campaign and to work to elect pro-choice Democratic women. Because how are we going to actually change the law? We've got to elect more Democratic senators that are pro-choice. And let's start right here in Wisconsin. You can get involved in my campaign. You can visit sarahforwisconsin.com. We are taking volunteers and donations because that's what it's going to take to beat Ron Johnson. It's all hands on deck. What are your other concerns, though, in Wisconsin? Because Wisconsin is quickly becoming a test as well for attempts to overturn elections, to change, uh, potentially change electors. Um, it's becoming a big issue, given the fact that, you know, you've got Republicans in the legislature. You've got a governor who's up for Andrew, re-election, too. Yeah, I, Andrea, I will tell you, when I travel the state, when I'm talking to Wisconsinites, they just want someone who's going to focus on common sense, kitchen table issues that matter most. Whether that is, for example, I was talking with someone who is skipping their prescription drugs, not because they want to, but because they can't afford it to, you know, we have PFAS, these forever chemicals that are poisoning our Great Lakes and our rivers and our drinking water to young moms who can't afford child care. You know, 54 percent of Wisconsin's in a child care desert. This is what they want their lawmakers to focus on, not conspiracy theories like Ron Johnson has been doing or, you know, spending July 4th in Russia. They want to see real things getting done in the U.S. Senate. And in terms of this Democratic field, is there anyone in that field you would not endorse? Is it at this point uh, just important to have the party united after the August primary against Ron Johnson as far as you're concerned? Well, I I will tell you, Andrea, you know, when I ran for state treasurer in 2018, it's incredibly important that we all unite together because in our state, you only win by two to three votes per precinct. And as somebody who has done this before, I am looking forward to doing it again because our elections are close. We are used to that in the state of Wisconsin. But I know that this is going to be a galvanizing issue that's going to bring women to the polls because we do not want politicians like Ron Johnson making health care decisions for women and affect our freedom. Thank you so much, Sarah Godlewski. It's great to see you. Nice to meet you virtually. And we do hope to talk to all of the candidates.